Whoa, didn't I tell you to call me before you showed up? <laughs> Whatever. Um, I guess we're going right into it. This is my house. This is the, the, uh, the Corey house. And uh, we walk right into our, my fireplace room, my, mine and my wife's fireplace room, and she did all the decorating. Um, there was a pool table and motorcycle helmets on the mantle and all over the walls, but uh, yeah, she said it wasn't good enough. So we went this route, but you know, I'm really liking it now. It's pretty sweet. We still have one motorcycle influence photo on the mantle and a uh, wedding photo, some of our achievements this year. And I think this is, I kind of like this photo a lot. This is um, wife and her five sisters and they're all hot and they're all kind of single. Well, except for mine. But, you know, it gives me a lot to flirt with on Christmas dinners. Um, so you saw the fireplace room. Let's bring it over to the den. This is, I think, I think everyone's favorite room. This is usually where we chill, where everyone comes over and uh, watch movies. There's a big couch. Courtney can play piano, and she's good at it. I have no rhythm, so I can't get on that thing. Maybe I can get her to play for you. All these photos are on the wall because of her. If it was me, the house would be just empty. Probably couch, beer cans, and a TV. Um, this is another cool thing in the house. Two of my achievements this year. And they're kind of like uh, what I've been working for since the day I started freestyle motocross. X Games gold medal and bronze medal. Pretty proud of those. I'm going get to them, get them framed and hung up soon. Um, have a record player, old vintage records, have some paddles on the wall. Those are, my dad was a uh, kayaker, kind of before I was born and then as I was a kid. So those represent him a little bit. I hung those on the wall, they were his old ones. Rad photo, um, X Games Brazil, speed and style on the top of the podium. Was definitely a, uh, a great day. All right, let's check out the rest of the house. Wife Courtney, washing dishes. That's what I like to see. In the kitchen, Court, meet the Transworld guys. This is Don. Hi. He's kind of creepy. Don't let him. Don't talk to him too much. <laughs> All right. um, so it's just a regular kitchen. Hey, uh, you watching me? Yeah. So um, regular kitchen, wine rack. This was given to us by uh, Garnet Bob for our wedding. It's pretty sweet. Some of our favorite wines we've enjoyed and wines that we are going to enjoy. Normal kitchen, refrigerator, stove, oven. But we like to cook, so we do use it a lot. Coffee maker on every single morning. Let's check out the rest of the house. First room on the left. This actually used to be my old bedroom, but now it's my office. Um, court, once again, doing work. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, some of my other achievements, a lot of bills, a lot of normal business stuff, but uh, some old helmets. This is actually was one of my first, first helmets right here. It's pretty beat up and old. Hey, what, what do you got going over there? <laughs> um, an event in Switzerland that I did and won. Got a thousand Swiss francs for it, which is pretty cool. And the Swatch Watch trophy. Um, one of Cole Seeley's helmets, one of Carrie Hart's helmets. Has Mikey polished that helmet? Dude, Mikey brought that thing over here and used his same microfiber rag to make sure it didn't have any dirt on it. Um, he's good at polishing helmets. He's, really, he's good at polishing anything, really. Cole knows firsthand, and a lot of shoes that I end up just always wearing like black and white, usually, but I, Never want to throw away the colors because you never know when you're going to need them. All right. Regular bathroom. I could turn the lights on, but nothing to brag about. Family photos. These are, uh, I think they're all wedding photos, but um, if you check, this is a pretty cool photo. 
This is me and, and uh, my two best man and my dad, Cole Seeley, Riley Harper, and uh, walking down the steps, going to get married in Hawaii, which was a pretty badass time. There's another bathroom right here. Once again, just a normal bathroom, his and hers sink that we actually do his and hers because I got to prove that I can always keep mine cleaner. Um, this is our guest bedroom right here. Wait, who uses more hair products? Honestly, I sometimes have to with this frizz right here. <laughs> you got to use some frizzies for this thing. Um, guest bedroom, court doing laundry, folding clothes. <laughs> what, what do you expect? Um, yeah, a lot of people have come over and spent the night in this room before. I know Andre Vila has come over, Matt Rabot, Cole Seeley. Tons of dudes come over and they stay in this room and they come out and, and ride uh, out at Wyvern. So on to, uh, on to our bedroom. Court, once again, reading, reading something. Um, we made that headboard actually in the backyard one, one day. Uh, what, what are you reading? <laughs> Transworld, of course. Of course. What do you expect, guys? Um, so we made that headboard, and basically that whole closet is all her stuff from shoes to heels to boots to clothes to everything girls want um, but and our niece <laughs> but uh yeah that's the house a uh you know a small little comfortable house that um that we love we love living here <laughs> you're a dirt bike guy how about the garage oh you want to see the garage i don't really like showing off the garage too much because then i'm scared that everyone knows what's in there I'll show you guys my garage, all the two-wheeled machines. It's only full of two-wheeled machines and a pressure washer, but there's only two wheels on it. And Court, my mechanic, is that um, getting a little, what do you got going? Oh, just uh, loading up the chain. Oh, perfect. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Um, so here's one of my moto bikes that she's prepping up. Tomorrow I'm heading to Zaka with Transworld. So uh, she's prepping up the, uh, the MX bike, which is, uh, yeah, which is my RCH Suzuki 450. This is the 2013 right now, but uh, I'm, that's why there's not that many in here because I'm waiting for my 14s. So as soon as I get those, I'll show you guys that. But here's some other bikes that I have fun with day in and day out as well as my dirt bike. My 2013 Street Bob, Harley Davidson, which uh, I've put a lot of miles on since I've gotten it. And then uh, actually one of my favorites, 71 Trail 70. And it's like the, um, like the large edition or whatever it is, mm. where, it has, where it has four gears and a clutch and real forks. This thing's pretty badass too. It was in my wife Courtney's family, it was her her grandpa's and then was her dad's and then we inherited it so uh yeah it kind of has a lot of family stuff and then here's a 71 honda cb 500 and the cool thing is that these are actually made in the same year they're both 71s so i kind of ever wonder if they were like made in the same factory at the exact same time and they're kind of like brothers and sisters and then they meet again 40 some odd years later but I love motorcycles and that's why my garage is full of them. Come check out some of the gear and some of the other stuff I have. This year you guys might have saw LAX Games. I did uh, a Lakers inspired jersey. Well, we got down to the nitty gritty. I mean, you could see a lot of detail into it. Like the name was sewn on, um, like an NBA style logo, but with a dude doing an underflip. And uh, the name number tag on the bottom. Pretty sweet. Um, all my gear, not all of it. I still have more at the warehouse, at the Motorgate warehouse, but this is what I use day to day. Clean stuff, dirty stuff, boots, helmets that I'm using today. Um, this one is the one I won my gold medal in in, in Brazil. This one I won a bronze in in Germany, 
and that was my LA helmet where I got fifth. Um, I think helmets are kind of like trophies. I love keeping them and not getting rid of them because they're just, especially custom painted ones, but they have so many memories in them. Any helmet that I have that it's just like, why would you ever get rid of one? And uh, some number plates from X Fighters I've done. This one's Dubai, that one's Egypt. Who would have ever thought that you would be jumping a motorcycle in those countries and those places? And it's, I never thought I would, but it's at the same time a dream come true to be riding motorcycles in those locations. You know, washer and dryer as normal. Our street helmets, which are pretty sweet. Two full faces, two open faces, his and hers when we hit the streets. That's about it. So I'm kind of annoyed at you creeping on my wife this whole time. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming by and uh, doing this piece.